In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a rouleau triangle or sometimes called a circular triangle. That's this shape here. There are a lot of cool things about this shape, but I'm just going to be focusing on the area and the perimeter of this shape. You can make this shape by firstly drawing an equilateral triangle. This is an equilateral triangle in here and then drawing uh, three circles with the same diameter on the points of that equilateral triangle, the centers of the circle on those points. And then the shape that you get in the center of that diagram is a Rouleau triangle, as you can see on the screen now shaded in gray. As I said, there are a lot of cool things about this shape, one being that it has constant width, just like a circle does, and that they use these types of shapes that have constant width to make coins to save material. And there are a lot of other cool facts about Rouleau triangles and shapes with constant width. And I'll link a video by Mathologer in the description uh, if you want to check that out. But as I said, I want to focus on looking at the area. Now in GCSE mathematics, you need to be able to find the sector of a circle and the segment of a circle. So we have both of those things in the shape. We have a sector here. Now, if we call this length A, the length of the equilateral triangle, that's the radius of this circle with center on this corner and the arc here. So that's the arc of the circle. And so to find the total area of this Rouleau triangle, I'm going to firstly find the area of the sector, then the area of the segment, and then add on the area of that equilateral triangle again. So firstly, the area of a sector, you need to know how to find that for GCSE mathematics. I'll just move this down a bit. So the area of a sector is basically a fraction of a circle, right? So whatever angle we have in here is going to be that fraction of the circle. We know that the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. So this area is going to be 60 on 360, the total degrees in a circle, multiplied by the total area of that circle, which is pi times the radius squared. In this case, I'm calling the radius A, so this will be A squared. This can be simplified to 60 on 360 is 1 sixth pi A squared. Okay, so that's the area of that total sector. And to find the area of this segment here that I'm shading, I want to do the area of the sector take away the area of that equilateral triangle. Here's a little shortcut for the area of an equilateral triangle. If you're given the side length, equilateral triangle, it is root three on four times the side length squared. If you've never seen that before, make it a fun little activity for yourself to show why that's the case for the area of an equilateral triangle. But we have root three on four a squared for this area. And then the area of the segment then is going to be, well, let's change this to area of segment, is going to be the sector, take the area of the triangle. So sixth pi a squared, take root three on four a squared. So the area of that segment is the shaded part I've shown there. Now in this Rouleau triangle, I have three of those segments. So I want to multiply that whole thing by three to get all of those all together. So multiplying this by three, I get three on six, which is a half pi a squared, and then three root three on four a squared. So that's that shaded area around the outside. Now I want to add on, add back on the area of the equilateral triangle. So the total area then is going to be all of this, a half pi a squared, take three root three on four a squared, plus the area of the equilateral triangle, which was root three on four a squared. Okay, let's try to simplify this now. Well, negative three root three on four a squared and root three on four a squared, they are like terms. So we could actually combine those. If I've got negative three of something plus one lot of that thing, I'll have negative two root three on four a squared. That's what that would simplify to. So I could write this as half pi a squared take two root three on four a squared. Two on four, that's the same as a half. So I could write this then as a half pi a squared take a, a th root three on two a squared. And then let's factorize out the common factors. Well, I have half as a common factor and a squared as a common factor. This would be a half 
a squared pi take root 3 for the area of this Rouleau triangle. Okay, so that is how we're finding the area. Something even cooler though is the perimeter. So go ahead and see if you can find the perimeter of this shape. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we get for the perimeter. Well, the length of an arc is similar to the area of a sector. It's the fraction of the circumference of the circle. What would be the length of the arc here on this shape? Well, it's the fraction using that angle. It's 60 on 360. So the let's say the arc length is 60 on 360 multiplied by the total circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi multiplied by the radius. In this case, the radius we've called A. Okay, so again, simplifying this, this would be a sixth times 2, which we could write as a third pi A. So that's that arc length here, right? I've got three of those. So three times a third pi A. So total perimeter is going to be three times this, which will just be pi times A. Okay, so the total perimeter of this shape is pi times the width of the shape, which is the same as a circle, right? If you take a circle with the same diameter as the width of this shape, so a circle with diameter of A, you have the same perimeter because we know circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter or 2 pi r, same thing. I thought that was pretty cool, the fact that the perimeter of this shape has the same perimeter as a circle with the same width. Okay, so that's Rouleau triangles. I think they're a pretty awesome shape. Go ahead and check out more details on Rouleau triangles if you want to. And here's a really cool unsolved problem in mathematics. If you go to the Wikipedia page for Rouleau triangles, it says unsolved problem in mathematics. How densely can Rouleau triangles be packed in the plane? Basically, if you take this shape or any other type of Rouleau triangle, so you take lots of them, how closely together can you uh, place them or pack them? Now, you can imagine this is an important question in mathematics uh, because people want to pack things tighter to transport them more efficiently and things like that. Um, so is the Rouleau triangle a good shape or an efficient shape for manufacturing and things like that? That's a really cool unsolved problem in mathematics. And also here we have that circle with the same diameter over the Rouleau triangle. I thought that was a cool shape as well. All right, so that is Rouleau triangles. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.